Today we're going to talk about uh, cutting and uh, different ways of cutting. Uh, the main point I want to point out is in order to cut something out, you don't have to have a closed profile. Uh, we'll call this open profile cutting. The, the, I have a couple examples here. The average user, uh, as we can see here, if I wanted to cut off this rounded corner of this guy, the average user would draw out the shape and then draw along or sometimes a larger box around what they actually are trying to cut off of the model. This is for a through all cut. If I take this guy, I've got one, two, three lines. I've got a coincidence up in the corner, horizontal verticals going on, coincidence up the edges. So I've done a bit of work. It's not, not a lot of work. This is SolidWorks. But I come in, pick through all, and without problem, cuts it off. And it uh, gives me my shape. But with the same type of cut, we'll cut on the other side here. I have the sketch drawn already. If I edit this sketch, we can see it's just one open piece. It's coincident to the edges, coincident to the center, just like it's supposed to be. That's all the real information we need other than the radius that we want to cut out. And what SolidWorks will do for us is as long as the sketch at least touches the edges, it can definitely go past, but at least touches the edges, when we do our cut, SolidWorks automatically gives us an infinite through all cut. As we can see here, there's not even any other option in both directions gives us our two arrow arrows for um, direction one and direction two and a third arrow in this case pointing towards the side of the material that it's going to that it's going to remove we can flip that arrow we can uh, click on the arrow here and uh, if I can get it and flip its direction I could chop off everything over here or of course what we want to do everything on the inside and of course we have the the flip side to cut option to do the same thing if the arrow isn't cooperating by picking. I give an OK and it cuts off and gives us the same exact thing with less lines, less constraints, less possibilities of something failing in the future by, de by design change. Um, it does cut off everything on the other side of that arrow so if there was something up here in the model up in the upper right, it would have 86 that also, so you gotta keep track. It is also multi-body capable, so I can change the scope if this was another body, the other stuff out in, out in space. I can choose to just cut one or two particular bodies. Showing an example of if the line does not go all the way through, what SolidWorks will do. Take that sketch, and I choose cut, and it gives me a preview of the through all cut, the arrow flip side to cut, but when I hit OK, SolidWorks gives us the extrude feature could not be created by the sketch. Please check the sketch uh, extends past the body limits, or at least to the edge body limits. So we'll, we'll skip past that one. I'll hide him. Uh, showing it down here also, uh, if it is going all the way through, if, if you have a single line, the extrusion capability is also the simple extrude. One open profile, I just need a little wall shape on the edge here. Um, and see he comes out and SolidWorks not only asks us how far we want to extrude it, what end condition, they're all available, but um, also what thickness do I want it and how do I want to go mid-plane, do I want to go two directions, a certain distance one direction, a certain distance the other direction um, to create it and also we get our draft capabilities too and we can pop something out. Okay, so extrude with a single open profile also will do the, the will not cut of course, but will give us a thin extrusion, will ask us the thickness automatically. Looks like my uh, sketch has a failure. Um, cutting with an open top uh, or an open profile and cutting off, a lot of people will do a, a sweep or loft beyond what they need to or um, doing surfacing beyond what the actual model is and then trim it up. Uh, to get the geometry that they need. Um, come in here and switch these. And um, we can see the, the average user, I call it top cut average user or average. We can see that uh, the real dimensioning information is we need this chopped off to one inch off of this face or this edge. And people will make a box and either not constrain this particular line or constrain it with any old number and that number doesn't necessarily have anything to do with the design itself. So we cut this off. 
it is actually more more um, more work than is needed anyway. Uh, come in through all, um, make it through. If I would have drawn it in the middle, then I would have had to do direction two through all and so on. And we'll cut it off. But this 2.802, let, let, I'll do the cut and see a possibility of of something that uh, doesn't work. Go through all, click it off, cuts it out. But if this dome that was created earlier needed to get higher or the extrusion or whatever it may be goes beyond, we can see that the the cut fails and it makes a multi-body. And it may be a little sliver multi-body, it may be very drastic and, and noticeable like this is. Then you'd have to come into the sketch and change the dimension so that it overcomes uh, whatever else. And again, it's just a dummy dimension, unneeded in my opinion. I'll delete that particular cut and choose, hide this guy, and I'll choose the just simple line. There's the dimension relations I need. The relations on the ends are coincident to the edges here so that it will grow and shrink. It is a dome, so it'll always come in. I also could have attached it to the silhouette edge of the dome. And this time when I do my cut, SOLIDWORKS automatically offers and only allows a through wall in both directions. It says which side do you want to get rid of? The top. And now regardless of that dome, as long as it's of course above uh, one inch, it will continually cut that off regardless of what's going on. So just to save you some time in just drawing the ge geometry that you need, not extra geometry. Think of a bandsaw or a jigsaw. If you put this thing in and cut it with a jigsaw, you only need to pass through once. You don't need to make a big square to cut stuff off. So it's, uh, I think of it as the same way. Slice right through. It's gone. Be done.